Hello and welcome to the first ever edition of Podcast, the new video podcast series from Independent Retail News and TalkingRetail.com, looking at what's hot and what's not in the field of products targeted at independent convenience retailers. My name's David Shrimpton and I'm the editor of Independent Retail News. And today I have with me uh, Johanna Thompson, who is the content and community editor who's going to talk us through all the latest developments. Hi. Well, welcome, Johanna. Hi, David. You're right. Hi. So the convenience sector <laughs> is always a hotbed of activity when it comes to new products, marketing campaigns and promotions. And the past few weeks have been no exception. Johanna, what have, what have been some of the highlights for you? Well, I think really it's the Pepperami tapas because it's the first time they've actually really extended themselves beyond the single use and mini market. So they're looking more towards like picnics and summer events and also a complete change of flavour, which is a real, you know, real new product development uh, from Pepperami. So you've got the salami and the chorizo and you've got six in each pack. So that's really good for sharing. And that comes in at two pounds a pack, which is really reasonable as well for consumers and also with the summer of sport. And just, you know, different events rather than, um, you know, single-use pepperamis. So that's probably one of the most, you know, interesting things at the moment. And, you know, it's got provenance. It comes from Spain. Um, I just think it's generally a really good move for pepperami moving out of the, you know, of being the, um, the traditional salami uh, into a more tapas area really yeah, yeah. which would be good for them and also for consumers because i think that you know that everyone knows pepperami and the whole format's completely different so so it's their first move into the sharing market it is yeah, yeah. so that's new yeah. for them yeah. um and yeah it's a completely good npd which we haven't seen for a while really in the industry so that's interesting excellent yeah, yeah. Thanks. thanks for that okay and um moving on what, uh, what else have you got for us this week? Well, Marmite crisps. I mean, love them or hate them. I absolutely love them. And, um, I mean, they do come in PMP specifically for convenience stores. So that's the really important thing. Um, and they also come in tortillas. And in, um, I think it's tortillas and crisps, actually. But it's a pound twenty-five sharing PMP format that it's done specifically for the convenience store market. So that's mm. something that retailers need to go for. The other brilliant thing about it is that it's got that really striking packaging and it's associated with a really solid brand. So, you know, it's a really good one to stock. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Good. And, and is this a first for Marmite? It is, is it? well, for convenience, yeah, mm -hmm. and for PMP. So that's a really good thing for retailers to look out for. But I would say it's just it is the standout and the branding that makes it, you know, if you are a Marmite lover, which I am, so it's it it would be certainly something that I'd be looking out for. And it's something you can't replicate. You can't make another, you know, yeast extract crisp. Well, I suppose you could, but, you know. Yes, yeah, so it wouldn't be as well known Well, in you're this not going to have that logo that's so, you know, recognisable and it has that reassurance for consumers. So I think that's a really good one. And as I said, the shells stand out it being black just in itself. It's a really good design, I thought. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, there's another interesting one for retailers to it consider. Is. Oh, definitely. I mean, I would, you know, go for that because, you know, all packs are you know, they're green or blue. And you don't often get that sort of black, you know, packaging. And then we've got Lynx here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they've just brought out, and it comes in this really nice box that they sent us, actually. Yeah, I don't think retailers get that. Though, no, do they? they don't. I mean, no. It's a shame. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Came with this as well. But they brought out a new fragrance, so that's called Jungle Fresh. And that's, um, I mean, there's so many different prices on this. They've got an aerosol. Um, that's four pounds. And then the antiperspirant, which we don't have in there, is four pounds, and the shower gel is one pound twenty-five, which I think is a really good price. Actually, that's the retail. Yeah, price. RRP. Yeah. Yeah. Are they so price marked? Or? No, they're not. Unfortunately, well, I think it's quite good if they are, but um, maybe they'll bring something like that in later. But I mean, basically, it's tapping into this um, Gen Z love of um, 
apparently of uh, preferring, it says here, preferring scents described as clean and refreshing. And um, yeah, so they're tapping into that market, the Gen Z market, which is notoriously difficult to mm -hmm. access. Mm -hmm. So yeah. good luck with that. I mean, I think it's a good thing that they've, you know, they've released another uh, fragrance. And then we've got Squashies, which are just lovely. And again, they came in a lovely box. And this is tapping into nostalgia, basically. So the Squashy drumsticks are now strawberry and cream flavour, which again is a really nice thing for, you know, for the summer sports and outdoor activities, you know, picking up the kids from school, doing, you know, um, oh, sports days and things like that. It's definitely child orientated. And again, it's got that brilliant PMP of £1.15. And I've tried them and they're very nice. <laughs> yeah, I can vouch for that yeah. as well. Yeah, so that's a first for them for a while, bringing out a new flavour. And it's described as mouth-watering, squatty, strawberry and cream flavour reflects our dedication to creating exciting new taste sensations for consumers. Mm. And Excellent. That's, What's the RRP on that one? That's one pound fifteen. One pound fifteen, which is a really reasonable. Yeah. And that is price marked. So, that is so, PMP'd um, and a good price for young people to purchase as well. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. And that's it. Great. Well, thank you very much, Johanna. Oh, That's welcome. a great update for this month. Um, thanks to everyone for watching the very first IRN podcast. And uh, we hope to be back with you shortly. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>